Hello Kinstubers, Pixie here, and today I'll be doing a video with my beautiful signature, Vanessa. Probably get some better lighting. Alright, so here's what you're gonna need. Oh, and before we get started, I wanna do a quick shout out for the person who requested this video, Bella Rizzo. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Because she's really nice and friendly, and I just really think that you should at least go check out her channel. And hopefully to subscribe to her. Now here's what you're gonna need. A pin cushion. Needle and thread. And the needle and thread is actually optional, you don't have to sew. Scissors and buttons, which are also optional. You can get some. And some cloth of any color. We use old clothes. Now onto the actual video. What you want to start by doing is picking a few colors that you think matches their fur. Last time I did purple on her, but today I'm going to try to make her a um, tealish one because I actually like the minty color with her fur. I don't care what you people think. And it's normally good to get another co color with it, so it's not just one plain dress. I like to start with finding a strap that will fit around them. You can take any strip of clothing and just sew it, but for this time I'm just going to use the sleeve of this, because Vanessa doesn't want one that wraps around her. She wants to show as much of her as possible. She likes herself. Then you take El Scissoros, and you cut the strap. You're gonna wanna smooth out the fabric as much as you can. Then you just kinda guesstimate where to cut. I guess you can measure with their body. I don't wanna go about there. So, they have a really long scissors, I don't have good scissors. So, how do we go? And I had to cut out some of that because our camera has hardly any memory. But you can see me finishing the cutting if you like to be bored. And I'm almost there. The Pixie Project. So what I like about this sleeve is it has this little design on it, which will look good on her dress. So now I'm going to put this strap on her. Note, you might want to remove any jewelry that's on them for the sake of stuff fitting right. By the way, Nero got her this necklace when they were dating. Yeah. And take off their earrings. So you just put that on them. So it fits around them. You can that fits her fine. Which luckily sleeves actually only fits into pretty well. At least they do for me. It's my own shirt. Next, you want to make a train or something. That's what uh, Zoe says it's called. She's a little more into this. It's basically where you make something that trails back. I might use this color. You can use the same color. Maybe. Ooh, should. I think I'm going to use the same color this time. I'll use this later. Okay, so here's what you do. You don't have to use a ruler. Rulers don't, they're just not necessary. What you do need to do is you need to put it up to them, measure yourself how far you want it. I'm gonna go for about, I want it to be very long, so I'm gonna curve it like this when I'm cutting it. I guess I could use marker, you can use marker. I don't use marker, I just like to use my imagination. Note, if you don't want to sew, you can use this part of the um, shirt, which is basically the head thing, and you just cut around it so that you'll have a nice um, thing that you can tie around them. No sewing involved, and I'm terrible at sewing because I always cut myself. So, as always, you cut. You know, Maple's in the other room. She's probably like, <laughs> uh, she's probably just like she's talking to herself again. No, she knows what I'm doing. I told her. Did you two... see? Did you guys hear that? I knew it. I knew it. New poodle. Okay, so I finished the train, and now I will cut out that thing. I found good scissors. A cutting adventure. Making the dress the adventure of a lifetime. So I finished that. What I need to do is... Video ball. Really? Get out of my video! <laughs> You're not supposed to see it anyway. Like the two most pretty, most pretty secretaries. Well, the two most gorgeous. Turn, turn, turn Nero around. <laughs> They're not dating anymore. Yeah, South Face. Nero's not dating anyone right now. That never happens. Yeah. Whatever. He was going to with Indy, but... <laughs> that didn't work out. <laughs> they really didn't. Why is the light on the camera? Oh my gosh. They're really attractive. Yes, they are. You're video bombing my thing! <laughs> <laughs> Andy, so nice and snip it right down the way. So, I 
And now, the most terrifying part of the whole operation, the attachment. When you have the tie at the bottom, kind of tie a knot or a bow, and you just weave it around the strap. That should get you this far. I personally like the way this looks so far. Like, for some reason, I'm actually liking the plane. I was planning to use this. This. Ah, oh, she just looks so good. Anyway, um, but you could- Our tripod is broken. Now, you can, um, add whatever you want. I mean, it takes a little more time, but... For example, if I wanted- Seriously, our tripod is broken. If I wanted to, I could have a strip of, like, blue cloth. This is not cut. Well, it is, but not on purpose. You take a strip of blue cloth and you could tie it around to give it a little extra color flare. You could... You could add some buttons, like, on the thing. You could actually add buttons on the top of the dress, which wouldn't actually look half bad. You can actually do what I did on my Yellow Lab X. She's not wearing a dress, she's wearing a vest. But you can add a zipper. I cut this off of an old jacket. And yes, it really does... Apparently it doesn't work. No, it does. See? It's just caught on something. It does work. Ah! See? This thing works. Anyway, I put buttons on her thing to attach sleeves. She's just wearing her vest right now without attached sleeves. If you want to, you can use this to sew in a pattern. Or you could add, like, you know, beading to it. And you can also just attach something that's homemade. Look, sparkly pipe cleaner, beads. And you can actually attach that to the back of their dress if you want to. And finally, you can accessorize. So if you want the dress to match the accessories, you might want to do something that um, matches. But what I like to do is that you take the smallest part of the dress, which would be silver, and make that pop with something else that said the same color. I sound like Zoe. That is Vanessa's final dress. Now here's something really important. You need to brush your signature's fur if you want them to look good. How do you do that? Glad you asked, because I'm going to show you. Segment 2 of this video. These are your brush options. Here is now I normally start with the comb. I start by taking the comb and I individually brush up each section of fur. It takes a while. Once you've combed all of the fur so that it's facing up, then you take hopefully a comb like this if you have one. You brush it up with that as well. Just not too many times. I'm gonna rub too much fur, you just get a few times. Then you use an unused toothbrush to brush it all back down, first section by first section. Then you take this very soft brush and the is just broken. You just kinda brush it down some more so it's very smooth. Smooth. And then the final step. Maple, will you hold the camera? Can you see shadow? Mm-hmm. You have to fluff them up and then you smooth them down. So that the fur doesn't dr it not dry, it's not wet. Doesn't, you know, crisp in a flattened position. And that... You mean get all like matted and stuff? Yes. You want it to be fluffy. Fluffy is... The more fluffy the better. Yes. They're so husky and signatures so... That's how I brush my signatures. That is the pixie procedure. <laughs>